Okay, this is my friend Jeannie, and she's been working on losing weight, and she's going to tell you about it. Uh, okay, to begin with, I weighed 206 and a half pounds in June the 19th, or excuse me, June the 16th. I woke up and decided that that was enough. I needed to lose weight, so I decided I wasn't going on no diet. I just changed my eating habits, and from going from two sandwiches or two hot dogs at lunchtime, I now eat one sandwich or one hot dog. Uh, if I order French fries, I eat half a order, or I get the very really smallest order you can get for children. Um, I did not drink water. I'll be the first to admit I hated water. I have probably not drank water three cups in my whole life, but I decided that I need to start drinking water. They said that was a good way to help lose weight. So my niece introduced me to a flavoring that you add to water. And now I drink anywhere from 75 to 100 ounces of water a day because it's flavored and I can drink it and I love it. But if I have to drink a glass of plain water, it's not going to happen. So if this is your problem, you may also want to get this flavored, uh, flavored for flavoring for the water. It's really, really delicious. You can buy it for bottled water or you can buy a big package of it for and make like three and four gallons at a time. So it might help you there. Uh, another thing that I've learned too is I don't like sweets, so that's not a problem. But what I do do is I will buy the six in a dollar package, little tiny miniature ones, and I'll eat just a little miniature one if I start craving sweets. But I'm not a sweet eater, so that's not a problem. I want bread, so what I've done is I buy uh, flat bread, which is basically a bread, but it's it, which kills the craving for my bread, okay? But it's really not a, a, a the big slice white chunky like bread that I like. But it will help to crave it. And it also, if you take it and you bake it, it turns into crackers. And I've gone to eating that because you can have one slice of the flat bread. It's 150 calories. I can eat if I make crackers out of it. It's a great big bag of crackers, and I eat that with my salads. Because if you only eat five saltine crackers, it's 150 calories. Hmm. So you weigh. You, what I've been doing is weighing the calories as to the quantity also because I'm a very big eater. The more I have, the better I like it. So I, I've gone to a little bit of calorie count, not a lot, but like I say, the five cal the five crackers versus this great big bag of crackers is the same amount has helped me a lot because I eat it with salads, I eat it with soup, and it's very easy to do. You just take your flatbread, cut it up in your cracker size, put it in the oven for about five minutes. It hardens it like crackers, and there you go. Uh, I I exercise, but I did not exercise for the first 20 pounds because what they told me is when you start exercising, you tone your muscles, but then as you lose weight, you've got muscles there that you cannot make weight, I mean, you cannot lose weight off muscle. Once muscle is muscle, it's muscle, or you lose muscle and it becomes flabby. So you've got a choice there. So I have just now started, I weigh one set, like I said, I weigh 171. And I've just now started doing my exercise, starting to tone myself up. Hmm. Um, you talked about eating potato chips. Okay, and... potato chips. Yes, potato chips. That advertisement one. Bet you can't eat this one. That was a good commercial. Because no, I could not eat this one. I ate one bag, not one. I mean, and I mean the bought the big bags at night time. I said, I don't watch TV. If I get a bag of potato chips, I eat the whole bag. So what I've done is when I eat my supper meal, regardless of what time it is, whether 5 or 6 o'clock, which wherever I get home from work, I take 13 potato chips, because that's what I'm allotted on the bag for one serving. I put it in a bowl, and I lay it to the side. And then about 7, 30, 8 o'clock, when I want the munchies, only from habit, not because I'm hungry, then I'll eat my bowl of potato chips. Uh, if... I want something else, like a piece of pie. Again, I'm not a sweeter, but I will cut me a smaller portion of pie. I will put it on the counter or in the refrigerator, whichever it requires, and I will eat that, but I will not touch anything. Uh, Thanksgiving, I'll give you a perfect example. I made pies like crazy, but and I made all kind of food, which everybody does, but when they left my house Christmas, I mean Thanksgiving Day, I can say there was not one bite of Thanksgiving left in my house, but enough turkey for one little sandwich that I, mm -hmm. it, I ate, that one sandwich, because I did not eat turkey at, at my deal, I meal. I put it to the side because I like cold turkey. So, but now that way, I mean, I made all kinds of desserts, but as they went out the door, they every, every one of my family members took a cold pie with them because I would not leave it there. Not because I'm a sweet ear, but if it's there, I'm like everybody else, I'm going to eat it if it's in my home. So I try not to do it. Um, if I go to a restaurant, 
um, I don't really necessarily go on and watch what is like a salad like most people do. If I get something, I try to get a, a child's portion or a senior citizen's portion. Or sometimes I will get stuff and not realize that the portion was so big. And I'll ask them if they let me have a doggy bag and take half of it home and eat the other half for supper or the next day. Uh, it, the, actually, it's not, you cannot, it's not what you cannot have. You can have anything you want. It's just watching the portions. And that's what I've learned. I've not deprived myself of anything except watching, I have to watch the portions. Pizza is another thing. I can eat pizza every night. Pizza is just something that I absolutely crave, just like probably alcoholics do alcohol and and cigarettes, people that smoke crave their cigarettes. I've learned, I, I buy a pizza, I'll go to Pizza Hut, I'll order a pizza or whatever, I eat one or two pieces of it, then I take it home, I freeze it individually, and then if I want another pizza the next night, I take it out of the freezer, out of the freezer put it in the oven, and bake it for like 15 minutes, and it's just like sitting down at Pizza Hut and eating pizza. So you can... Have anything you want. You just have to be, you just have to watch the, the amount of what you have. I deprive myself of nothing. I've just cut down. And I mean, nobody could out eat me. Hmm. That's, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I could out eat anybody when it's sit, come down, sit down to a meal. My dad went hungry as a child, and his promise to himself is that he would never let one of us go hungry. So we were taught from the day one, the get go, so to speak, you eat everything on your plate, and we ate large portions. My mom and dad did not control our portions. We ate constantly. We had anything you could want to eat because, like I say, my dad would not let us go hungry. So he taught us the quality, not not that, not, he didn't teach us. He, he, he was so afraid that we were going to go hungry that he overfed us, mm -hmm. which taught us, in turn, you don't leave a plate empty. So my hardest thing on losing all this weight has been to push the plate back Mm -hmm. from the table and get up and walk off and leave food on the table. So to, to help myself in that, I've gone to smaller plates, not because of the portions, but because psychologically I still want to eat that whole plate full and I want to fill it heaping full. So for me, it was to go to a small plate and I still fill the heaping plate full full because it's a small plate. Mm -hmm. But whatever your problem is, if you can figure it out, it will help you to lose the weight because... Like everyone, not just me, but like everyone, we all eat for a reason, and you've got to figure out the reason, and until you can figure out the reason, cut your portions down, and as you slowly cut your portions down, and you slowly start losing the weight, then you will see why you eat. I also eat from stress, so when I get stressed out on something, I try to work on, I mean, I, I do not do computers, so I'm, I'm going to try to learn to work on a computer. I crochet, which helps a little bit, but... If you can figure out your reasoning while you're lowering your small, making smaller portions, then that will help you lose weight too. And it's not easy, but it's not hard. It, it, it's just watching what you eat. Anything you want, you can have. You just and, gotta watch it. And Jeannie, uh, you, how do you feel? One of the things you mentioned was your knees felt better very quickly. Okay, and another thing is I, my knees was, was hurt all the time, and the doctor told me I'd have to have knee surgery because of the fact that the weight was on there. Since I've lost the weight my knees is not hurt at all so that was another factor that didn't make me didn't motivate me to lose the weight I've had the knee problems for a couple of years and it did not motivate me to lose the weight okay that wasn't the reason I just woke well, it's up it's been a real benefit I, mm -hmm. but I should say it has been very painful and not that I don't have near as much um I don't get tired as fast I'm not as fatigued as I as I was I don't have a lot I don't have any more energy but I don't get as tired as fast as what I did my age is, you know, is, it makes my energy lapse. Not the, you know, it wasn't the weight. It was, it was my age. But I have got more energy. I mean, I've got more energy now because the weight is gone, and I can still do do things. But just, but my weight holds. It's not my weight that holds me back now. It is my age. But my energy's there. I just don't have the the, the ability to do it because of my age. But I do have more energy, and I, and that that is a benefit for most people. Which especially if you're a young person trying to lose weight, you'll really feel great. I do feel good for my age, and the weight has contributed to that feeling good. I sleep better at nighttime. Don't ask me why, but I sleep a lot better at nighttime. Beforehand, I was waking up all hours of the night. Now I can sleep most of the night without waking up. I don't know if it was the weight, but I do know I get to sleep better for that. Mm -hmm. So, but to me, it's been beneficial. And um, again, like I said, I didn't lose the weight to look like I was 20 years old again. Not going to happen. 
but I did lose the weight because of, of the fact that I saw that I'd always said that I, as long as the weight did not bother me, I would not worry about my weight. Well, the weight started bothering me, so I had to do something about it. I'm like everybody else. We say I'm going on a diet, and that's not going to happen. So I knew I had to change eating habits, and that's all I've done. There is no diet here. It's just eating what I want, but in smaller portions. And if I break over and eat two hot dogs sometimes, it's not a biggie. I say, okay, tomorrow's another day. Go back to your portion size. And I do it. Sometimes I, I'm like everybody else. Sometimes I'll eat an extra piece of candy or cake, but the next day I just go back into watching my portions because that extra piece every now and then is not going to hurt you. It's when you eat it every day. And so I just, like I said, I just try to watch my weight by watching what I eat. Anything I want, just smaller portions. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank You're you welcome. so much, Jenny.